Alrighty, so we have some amazing footage for you guys from Carowinds fans only. Again, go check them out on Facebook and YouTube. Um, some awesome behind the scenes shots for you. Um, huge thank you to Carowinds and Carowinds fans only. Uh, so this coaster is looking absolutely insane. So I'm just gonna provide my quick reaction to everything and then there's a couple of interviews at the end of this video. One provided by Carowinds fans only and one provided by Carowinds. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy that, so stay tuned for those. But I want to say, I really want to stress, I honestly thought Yukon Striker was going to have one of the most beautiful stations of 2019. Well, I'm easily, at this moment, again, that could change. We don't know what the station for Yukon Striker is going to look like. But Cobbhead Strike has peeled ahead for me on the most beautiful station. I am in love with the way it looks. I love that, like, kind of modern barn look they went after. I think it's stunning. I'm absolutely in love with it. It was so awesome to see that in the videos today. Um, and I'm super excited. Um, anyways, Cobbhead Strike is going to be absolutely insane for 2019. I can't wait to go ride this in spring. Um, from what we know, this thing is on time. Trains should be arriving or have already arrived. Um, we're not quite sure, um, but I believe they are arriving any day now and they'll begin testing very shortly. They're hooking up the electrical as you'll learn in the interview right now. Um, so yeah, this is super exciting. Both Yukon Striker and Cobbhead Strike are gonna start um, testing soon. Um, Yukon Striker is obviously a little bit behind because they have more track work to do, but I am so excited for Cobbhead Strike. It looks absolutely stunning. Um, anyways, enjoy the interviews and the questions that are being answered in the videos coming. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for obvious to watch. Have a good one, bye. Okay, what? The guys working behind me are electricians. They're, they're actually working on the electrical system. We put the cable tray up and they're hooking up the LSMs. The LSMs, if you look along the backbone of the ride, you'll see the, the, the white piece of bottom glass it looks like up there. Inside that, there's, there's coils of wire. They make a, they basically create a magnet, and that's what actually launches the train. This is actually launch two. So the train will come in from this side over here, moving that direction, okay? So it'll come into this with a little bit of speed. We'll accelerate it through here up to about 35 miles an hour and it'll finish the ride out. So this is actually launch two. And it goes from 35 to 50 miles per hour. 35 to 50, so it comes in, 35 miles an hour, it goes out at 50. Yes. Okay. does happen, or let's say we have a power failure in the middle of the ride, 
This is where the train will stop, and this is where we can unload the people nice and safely. There'll be stairwells that come down off the platform. We don't expect, we don't anticipate this to happen very often, but safety is one of the most important things we do. We have to anticipate what's going to happen, where the train's going to stop, and this is what it is. Why don't you explain all the features that they're looking at, the features of the coaster, this coaster with the five inversions, just kind of lay it out so everybody can see what they're looking at. The train will stop with gravity. You can use an LSM to back a train up, slow a train down, you sure can. Yep, you can do, it. You can do all that. Um, the different elements here, um, okay, let me see if I can do this. <laughs> the big loop over there, that's, that's the, it's got five different versions in it, okay? Uh, I'm not sure that I can show you everything right here, but we'll walk through it. Direction of travel, that's your first element. Go to do the first loop over there. Come over here and loop back around. You Hit come over this way and you twist and turn. You're really close to the ground. You, you can come back sit right over, there. You come back over there. You look around again. You come through this roll right here. You go right over there. You go way down there towards. You go way down there towards the building. So you're you're heating up a lot of your speed here. You know, a lot of your energy. Come over that hump right there. You come into the second launch right here. And if you go up there, it launches you. You come in about 35. It launches you again up to about 50 miles an hour. You come out of here. You hit this little hump right here going through this second loop. That little hump right there, I anticipate, is going to be one of the funnest things you can do on the drive. That, that, that one is going to catch you by surprise. I can't wait to ride this thing. That, that, you're going to come out of your seat. You're going to get some air time here. You got the loop around you. All right, you go up th through there. You go through the top hat. You come back around. You go through the loop. You go through another element backwards. Not backwards. You go through another element. You twist the other way. You go around and you come back into the into the station. Okay, that, that was kind of that was very disjointed for me. But that's okay. Um, if you we, we have the model over here. Okay, we, have, we actually have a model of the ride over here, and it's, it's all done with a 3D printer uh, by Bob. He was at the uh, IAPA show. They sent it to us. There's nothing like actually seeing that model. You can actually take your finger and trace around exactly where things are going and how things twist and turn. Um, something special about that model. If you figure it out, let me know. But don't share it with your friends. There's just a little bit of something on there. You customer enthusiast, I'm sure, will figure out pretty quick. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Hey, uh, well, let me tell you what we got going on. Um, since we've talked last, we haven't uh, we haven't done an update in a while here. But uh, as you can as you can look around here, you can see that all the all the steel tracks up right now. Um, it's all set in place. We've actually started grouting uh, base plates, and uh, there's, there's some right here close to us you can look at. Um, all the track is up. The side tracks in. Uh, the transfer tracks in. Side track. People call it different things. Um, we've got uh, train. The, the, the lead car is due to arrive at the end of the month here in January. And uh, once the lead car comes in, we'll actually put it on the track, roll it around, and see how things uh, match up and uh, do some, some fine tuning on uh, the alignments and whatnot. Um, right here, we are at the base of launch two. Uh, this is the second launch in the coaster. And as you, if, uh, in direction of travel, you can see all the big loops in the top hat behind me. So, Come into the launch right here at about 35 miles an hour. Accelerate jump to 50 miles an hour. Finish the ride out here. This is uh, about midway through the track. So this, this is where you step on the accelerator and go again. To my left, which is going to be your right, uh, we've got the station in the launch barn um, that's uh, heavily under construction now. The launch barn is all dried in. Uh, we're actually starting the theming elements in there right now. Uh, the electricians are working very hard getting the, the wiring and the devices in place. The, uh, the theming company uh, actually arrived here on Monday, and uh, they're going to start in earnest uh, next week uh, with the props. Props should arrive Monday or Tuesday, and they'll start loading those into the, uh, the launch barn. 
launch barns when you come out of this once you come out of the station you go to the Jojo Road, you'll actually set up at the launch barn. You sit there, we'll do a little pre-show for you. Then you'll uh, then you'll actually launch from launch one and start your ride there. But there's a there's a, a nice naming package, nice uh, storyline that goes along with this ride that's uh, pretty exciting.